Okay, Revolution Golfers, what we're going to discuss right now is how to make the ball move from left to right on purpose. I know many of us move it from left to right, maybe not on purpose, and understanding how to do it on purpose may show you another way to learn how to hit it straight if you recognize some of the similarities of what you're doing with what I'm asking people to do if they want to forcibly hit a fade. So what we're dealing with again is the awareness and the understanding of what's happening in the differential between face to path. So if I'm going to hit a true cut where the ball is going to start left and then curve back to the target, then the face is going to be open to the path, but the face is actually going to be closed to the target line. So where you're aiming the club face, when the, ball, when the club comes in to contact, it's actually pointed left, which is why the ball is going to start to left. Because as we know, 75% in this iron, and roughly through the irons, 75% of the ball's start line is coming down to the position of the club face. So I watch people ask me, okay, I have my draw swing now, what do I do with a cut swing? Well, we don't have enough time in the day to try to learn a whole new swing and how to cut it. But what we do know is that when we're cutting the ball, the face is open to the path, and obviously in order for the face to be open to the path, the path has to be moving left through the shot. So I'll watch people try to do that by picking up the club in their backswing and trying to spin off their right foot, but they're not very consistent when they cut it like that. So all I'm going to do, understanding the fundamentals the way I do, is I'm going to change my stance line and I'm going to change my ball position. So if you look here on the ground, this would be a dead square stance line. So what I'm going to do for this shot is I'm going to start my stance line like that. So as you can see from here, I'm not aiming my whole body to the left, I'm just opening my stance line. So you can see from my heels that my heels are moving to the left. Now, the reason I don't have to try and swing more out to in when I do this is because my stance line is the foundation of my swing. So if I start with my stance open, I've in space created an out to in swing direction. And by swinging out to in and hitting slightly across the ball to the left, knowing I'm going to have a good face position, the ball's going to curve back. So that first thing I'm going to do is make sure that my stance line is going to be open. Then what I'm going to do as well to ensure that I start the ball enough to the left is I'm going to play the ball up in my stance. So the ball is going to move up in my stance, which is going to give the club face more time to rotate to a square to slightly close position, which is going to allow me to start the ball either online or slightly left and allow the ball to come in. So ball position is going to do another thing for me as well. It's going to help me shallow my angle of attack. And if you remember from what we discussed in the D plane is the more the club is moving down with a steeper attack angle, the more it's moving to the right. So the more shallow I can get the attack angle, that club is starting to get to the low point and it's naturally starting to move to the left. So to hit a cut, I start out normal. I play the ball position forward, then I shuffle my feet to where my stance line's open, and then from there, the image that I have in my head is to swing on my stance line in both directions. Okay, and if you've seen that ball flight, the ball started about five yards left and cut back six yards. So remember, in order to curve it, if you change ball position in your stance line, that's gonna do plenty enough to shift what's going to happen to the face and path at impact and allowing you to cut the ball from left to right into a right pin or around a dog leg more consistently.